When I was growing up, there were certain words that we couldn't use in our house. I'm half Italian, so some hand gestures were off limits, too. One word my brothers and I couldn't use is dummy. Let's face it, dummy is usually meant to suggest that somebody isn't smart. Well, Allie Ward is here to introduce us to the smartest dummy in the game. Football is a game filled with passionate players, high adrenaline, and hard hits. Concussions are a risk in all contact sports, but it's the football field that has become center stage for the conversation about head injuries and how to reduce the risk of them. I traveled to Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire, where five years ago, tackling at football practices was discontinued in order to reduce the risk of injuries. Nice. It just takes its toll. You have so many hits in your body in my mind, and if you use them on the practice field, you don't have anything left on game day. So we've tried to minimize the hits during the, the week and then maximize potential on Saturdays. Inspired by his son's robotic race car, he had an idea to create a tackle dummy that could move. We turned it over to the engineering department and they did a wonderful, wonderful job. So now we have MVP and it's making a difference in our football program. MVP stands for Mobile Virtual Player and it's now a fixture on the Dartmouth practice field. It's a remote controlled, battery operated robotic football player. It's firm, it bounces back quickly, it's deceptively fast. And one of the neat things from a football standpoint is there's no cues or clues. When a running back slows down, you can see his, his, his feet slow down, his arms spread, but the MVP, it just stops in a dime. Getting the MVP from prototype to functioning player took the energy of committed people in the engineering department, including these guys, Elliot Kastner and Quinn Connell. Elliot and Quinn are both Dartmouth engineering alums and former football and rugby players, respectively. We started going out to the field at practices, taking player feedback. Players liked the idea of rather than tackling a cone shape, having something that's a little more human with a shoulder. And where are the brains in the motor? So all of that's housed within the foam. So the foam does a great job of not only protecting the players from the drive system, but it also protects the drive system from the players. And that's all on the inside. How has the MVP changed the dynamic on the field? Well, the biggest thing has been the injury reduction. Mm -hmm. uh, concussive head injuries are way down. We we're top ranked defense nationally, and we had zero concussions on the defensive side of football. We are the same height at five feet, five inches. The MVP has a 60 pound weight advantage at 180 and hits speeds of 20 miles per hour to my, um, six. All right, hold in, out, it's in the mouth. Okay, hold in. Head coach Stevens took a moment to train up this rookie and let me have a go at the MVP. You're going down. <laughs> First, I warmed up. Oh, those pads are heavy. <laughs> Ugh, ow. And then it was time. One, two, three, let's go. Nice! <laughs> go, 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 go! Uh, oh, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, go. All right. Uh, uh, ow. I'm good, I'm fine. I'm just gonna take a minute. But MVP is not just for fun, and not even just for football. The mobile virtual player has far-reaching applications across the world of sport, and the MVP is fast becoming an innovation and safety VIP. One that will keep players fit to play another day.